everything you loved about the original Dead Space and a lot of improvements. I mean, the story is a lot more epic. Isaac has a personality this time. He's going to be the bringing the terror to space. Uh, you know, there's a lot of different moments that are going to happen in the game where Isaac's going to be making decisions about what to do rather than being an errand boy, like he, you know, a lot of people tend to say about the first game where he was going all around the Ishimura trying to, you know, fix one thing and then another thing breaks. I mean, this time Isaac's calling the shot, so that's a really big change. In addition to that, we've improved just about every core feature, so you've got zero G. This time around you'll have full movement in zero G instead of bouncing from place to place. Um, it allows for a lot of different unique physics and puzzles and that sort of thing. And then on the strategic dismemberment front, everything about strategic dismemberment is back, but we've added some new twists. For example, you'll be able to dismember a necromorph's limbs. Um, you can then TK that and use it to impale the necromorph against the wall. So, you know, there's a lot of new twists there in just about every core feature. And just as a whole, I think it's going to be, it's going to have that Dead Space polish and it's just going to feel like a much bigger situation this time around. Isaac Clark, you know, he's an engineer. He's, he's not a space commando. You know, he's, he's, we're really trying to play him up as the everyman and he is definitely flawed. If you saw what happened to him in the first game, I mean, he's, he's suffering from all kinds of horrors, unspeakable horrors, and in this game he's gonna have to come to grips with that as he tries to survive as well. So, you know, as a character, he's not gonna be talking all the time, he's not gonna have all these quirky one-liners, um, but when he does say something, he's gonna really mean it with conviction, and hopefully what that leads to is the audience, the players, and fans really identifying with Isaac as a person. What the hell am I? You're suffering from a unique form of dementia, Isaac. I think what's most important for the dev team is really to build something that's authentic. It really feels like that science fiction franchise that, uh, you know, the space feels realistic, the physics, the horror elements, really close attention to detail in terms of how do you scare an audience, how do you build up that tension, and then the big payoffs, you know, the epic action moments, the explosions, the huge bosses. All that stuff is really just being dialed up here as we continue to move on with the franchise. But, you know, first and foremost, it's really about quality and polish. Dead Space Ignition, it's, uh, it's going to be really cool. We're happy to show it to you guys soon. Uh, but essentially what it is, is it's the events that lead up directly to the moment that Dead Space 2 begins. So for gamers that are really excited, they're kind of looking for some anticipation to hold them over until the game comes out, they'll have this experience. And it's told through an interactive kind of choose-your-own-adventure story that, uh, of a motion comic. I don't know if you guys are familiar with the comics we did on Dead Space 1, but we're kind of taking that to the next level this time because it's part of an arcade-style game experience. So you'll see a lot of that. And then lastly, we're going to have four different unlocks in the game. So as you play through Ignition, you will unlock content in Dead Space 2, which is really big for us. I think that's the only place you're going to be able to get that content is if you played through that experience. Dead Space 2 coming out on January 25th, 2011.